Hello everyone. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, we will discuss multiple choice question with solution on chemical reaction engineering which are mostly related to order of reaction. If you know the answer of any question, please comment in comment box. If you like my video, please like, comment, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel. So, let's see first question. When first order reaction A gives B 90% complete. So time taken for it. Options are Option A 2.303 divided by K Option B 0.9 divided by K Option C 1.1 divided by K Option D 1.1 K So answer is Option A 2.303 divided by K Now Let's see explanation As we know The equation for first order reaction is minus ln of 1 minus xa is equal to k into t given that reaction is 90% complete hence xa is equal to 90% which is equal to 0.9 so from above equation we can write t is equal to minus ln of 1 minus xa divided by k so let's put xa is equal to 0.9 hence we get t is equal to minus ln of 1 minus 0.9 divided by k after solving this we get t is equal to 2.302 divided by k Hence answer of this question is Option A 2.303 divided by K Now, next question For first order reaction Carried out in isothermal batch reactor 50% of A Is converted in 300 seconds The time required for a conversion 75% is Options are Option A 300 into 0.75 divided by 0.25 Option B 300 into ln of 1 Option C 300 into ln of 0.5 divided by 0.25 Option D 300 into ln of 0.25 divided by ln of 0.5 So answer is Option D 300 into ln of 0.25 divided by ln of 0.5 Now, let's see explanation So, equation for first order reaction is minus ln of 1 minus xa is equal to k into t equation 1 Now, according to first condition for xa is equal to 0.5 t is equal to 300 seconds so we get minus ln of 1 minus 0.5 is equal to k into 300 which can be written as minus ln of 
is equal to 300k. Now, from second condition, for xa is equal to 0.75, what is time? So we get minus ln of 1 minus 0.75 is equal to k into t which can be written as minus ln of 0.25 is equal to k into t if we divide equation 2 by equation 1 we get ln of 0.25 divide by ln of 0.5 is equal to k into t divided by 300k. Hence we get t is equal to 300 into ln of 0.25 divided by ln of 0.5. Hence answer is option D. 300 into ln of 0.25 divided by ln of 0.5. Now next question is. For the gaseous reaction 2A gives B. Where the feed consists of 50 mole percent A and 50 mole percent in it. The expansion factor is. Options are, Option A, 1, Option B, minus 0.5, Option C, minus 0.25, Option D, 0. So answer is, Option C minus 0.25 now let's see explanation as we know the formula for expansion factor is epsilon a is equal to change in total number of moles of reaction system when reaction completed divided by total number of moles fed to the reactor Given, feed contain 50 mole percent A and 50 mole percent in it. Now, let's take bases as hundreds moles of initial reaction mixture. Now let's calculate moles at no conversion. That is total number of moles fed to the reactor and moles at complete conversion. That is total number of moles. When reaction completed. Let's see table. In this table, we can see, initially, that is at no conversion. Feed contain 50 mole of A and 50 mole of in it. So total mole at no conversion. That is, total number of moles fed to the reactor is equal to hundreds now let's see for complete conversion that has been reaction completed as from reaction we can see one mole of reactant a yields half mole of product b hence 50 mole of reactant a yields 25 mole of product b and moles of inert will be same because it does not take part in the reaction hence moles at complete conversion that is total number of moles when reaction complete is equal to 75 moles hence expansion factor can be calculated as epsilon a is equal to 75 minus hundreds divided by hundreds. After solving this, we get epsilon A is equal to minus 0 
Hence answer is option C minus 0 0.25. Now next question. The fractional volume change between no conversion and complete conversion for the isothermal gas phase reaction twice a gives R is options are option A 0 0.5 option B minus 0 0.5 option C 1 option D 1.5 So answer is option B minus 0 0.5. Now let's see explanation. As we know, the fractional volume changes. Epsilon A is equal to volume at X A is equal to 1 minus volume at X A is equal to 0 divided by Volume at x a is equal to 0, where v at x a is equal to 1 equals volume of reaction system at complete conversion, and v at x a is equal to 0, volume of reaction system at no conversion. So, for given reaction, twice a gives R. We can write this reaction as a gives half R. Hence we can say that one volume of reactant A on complete conversion yields one half volume of product R. Hence the fractional volume change can be written as epsilon A is equal to 1 half minus 1 1 is equal to minus 1 half which is equal to minus 0 0.5 hence answer is option B minus 0 0.5 now next question for the isothermal gas phase reaction a gives 3 R, the fractional volume change between no conversion and complete conversion is. Options are, option A, 0 0.5, option B, 1, option C, 2, option D, minus 2. So answer is option C, 2. Now let's see explanation. As we know, the fractional volume changes. Epsilon A is equal to volume at X A is equal to 1 minus volume at X A is equal to 0 divided by Volume at x a is equal to 0, where v at x a is equal to 1 is volume of reaction system at complete conversion, and v at x a is equal to 0 is volume of reaction system at no conversion. So, for given reaction, a gives thrice R. One volume of reactant A on complete conversion yields three volume of product R. We can write fractional volume change as epsilon A is equal to 3 minus 1 divided by 1 which is equal to 2. Hence answer is option C 2. So that's all about important questions on chemical reaction engineering. 
In the next video, we will discuss another set of questions. If you like my video, please like my video. Share this video with your friends and subscribe to my YouTube channel.